Hey, Peter. What are you gonna do, Peter? Give me your best shot! That's right, you're not gonna do anything about it. Cause you're a coward! What's going on, my lovers? My name is Don Marvin Landry! And welcome to a new indie horror game today, my lovers. We are playing a game called Peter's House. My lovers! Listen up. Don't let this game deceive and fool you. I know it looks and sounds scary from this main menu, but I have never met one mother whose name is Peter and that I've actually been scared of. So really, nothing to worry about here. Just gonna be a nice, average, casual playthrough, I'm sure. Hey, I hope your week's going well. We're here on Friday, finally. Let me know how your week has gone down below in the comment section. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you're subscribed if you wanna stay up to date with more videos and it's so good to see each and every one of you. Go ahead, give me a high five. And enough talk, we're gonna get into Peter's house. Steve, phone rings. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm gonna guess that Peter is the guy to the oh right. I mean, God. look at him. That looks like a dude that looks like a Peter. Looks like he has like a lisp going on too. Yo, who am I to judge? Okay, we're gonna jump into this. Steve, I assume I'm Steve. Hello, this is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Hi, Steve. This is Peter. I need help with moving some boxes tonight. Y'all like my uh, Peter impersonation there, okay? See, sure, we could definitely help you out with that. Can you give me a bit more information about the job? Yeah, I have a few boxes that need to be moved on my new house. I'll be out tonight, so the door will be unlocked. Sure, you're gonna be out. You're gonna be out to kill me. That's what we're gonna be out to do. Okay, I can come over tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Sure, my address is 619 Main Street. Great, I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? No, that's all. Thank you so much, Steve. <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that. Steve, you're welcome. Peter, have a good night. You too. Thanks again. Okay, great. So here we are. Well, time to move some boxes. Okay, so y'all, this is said to be like a really short indie horror game. 10 minutes max. So let's start moving some boxes, huh? I gotta say, I love the aspect. Really vintage. Oh, one or more boxes may be in the... What? I can't... What is that? Is that a person standing there? Is that Peter? Okay, we're gonna close that. I just want to familiarize myself with the house real quick before I start moving boxes places. Oh, yo. Oh, at least he's got a crucifix on the wall. Maybe that'll help and protect me. All right. This one says it must go in the dining room. Okay, so they're all labeled and packaged. Okay, nice. Is this the dining room? This looks like a dining room. Gotta keep moving boxes in. Simple enough. This is what I get paid to do after all. Yo, why does my guy just have a... I think that's the first time I've ever been actually jump scared by a toilet before. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to say, why does my guy just have a solo toilet in here without a mirror? Anything to wipe his ass with? This is definitely Peter if I've ever met one. This man is a definite Peter. Okay, this one says that it must go in the, to the kitchen. Where's the kitchen at? Oh. Oh, what is that? Why is that playing? Yo, Peter, I think something's wrong with your TV. Oh, that's the baby room. Yo, Peter, you didn't say you had a baby. I'm a low-key concerned that I might be watched by Peter. Okay, gotta keep moving boxes. I should probably hurry with the boxes. I can grab something to drink later. Yo, we're gonna take his prime energy from freaking the fridge itself. All right. This one says goes in the bathroom. Yo, what's he gonna put in there? There's nothing but a fucking toilet. Yo, I just know something bad's gonna happen eventually. We're gonna see something really creepy. This is definitely one of these games to do it. This one says that it must be in the bedroom. Where was the bedroom? Oh, this is the bedroom. Yo, can I put it on the shelf? There we go. Okay, this one says it must go in the bathroom. Pretty standard stuff so far, y'all. We're just bringing stuff where it needs to be at. Gotta keep moving boxes in. Okay. Ooh. This one says it must go in the living room. That's this. Great. Dude, how many boxes does this man pack? Kitchen. My boy packed up the whole house. I mean, obviously, but like... Jesus. Just making sure no one's staring at me through the windows here. Oh, wait. You can actually look out? Oh, that's cool. Not cool for me, but it's cool for the game, you know? Okay. This one says goes in the baby's bedroom. I don't want to go in the baby's bedroom. The baby's room is kind of sus. 
This is where all the bad shit happens in the horror movies, is the baby's room. Okay, you gotta keep moving boxes. Bedroom. Where was bedroom? This is bedroom. Alright, come on, Peter. Give me your worst. I thought you were supposed to be scary. So far, this is just... What? This one doesn't say where to place. Maybe I should open it? Maybe I shouldn't! Y'all, we're gonna open it. I shouldn't be digging through people's personal belongings, but I'm opening it. Because I'm very curious on where this is supposed to go. Not any other reason related to Peter. There's a journal inside with wedding rings. End of a marriage. Oh, my boy is getting divorced. I couldn't believe it when she threatened to leave me after all I've done for her. She had the audacity to suggest that we separate because of silly little dog. It's not like I did anything bad. Thor, I killed it. What? You killed it? But it was barking too loudly, and it was starting to really piss me off. And it's not like I haven't killed a small animal before. Pigeons, rats, what's the difference? But she couldn't handle it this time. She caught me in the act, holding the dog's ear in my hand with some sort of trophy. That's when he threatened to divorce me. Yo, my boy Peter's a fucking lunatic! The death of a marriage. I could not let her leave me. I had to make her understand that it was now my control. Now, whenever I look at that ring, I am reminded of how powerful I am. Yo, ain't no way this boy murdered his wife over a dog, bro. Are you kidding me? My boy's an absolute lunatic! Okay, where does this- I'll just think I'll leave this here, yo. I know my boy saw me snoop. Oh, Peter. Oh! Oh, I know my boy saw me snooping through his stuff. Why am I trying to, like, fight to lisp now? I think I'm becoming Peter. This one says it must go in the living room. Dude, I don't want to play this. Oh, God. I heard him walking around. My boy's about to use me to, to like, remind himself of how powerful he is. Okay, we got to open another one, y'all. There's a journal inside with some glasses. What is this? The Snoop Parp 1. All right, y'all. I'm not reading like Peter anymore, okay? I was sure I had to cover my tracks, but her sisters were getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. She kept prying and asking too many questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. The Snoop Part 2. I love how he named it the Snoop, by the way. Like, she's snooping around. She started getting too close, asking, you know what, fuck it, I'm reading like, like Peter. She started getting too close, asking too many questions. In a moment of frustration, I grabbed a heavy object and struck her over the head. Her glasses flew off her head. She crumpled to the floor, groaning in pain. She lay there, grasping for air, grasping at her throat. I could feel her struggling beneath me, and I squeezed the life out of her. It was a small victory. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with my guy, Peter? This dude is an absolute mad lad. Just leave that there. That's probably best. Dining room, okay. Y'all, we gotta put this stuff away. Away quickly before Peter shows up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Peter's gonna show up. Okay, those are the bad boxes. This one says I must go to the baby's bedroom. I don't wanna go to the baby's bedroom anymore. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, keep moving the boxes. Dude, I don't like this. This is actually kind of like spooky. This one says it must go into the kitchen. Okay. Kitchen, 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 kitchen. Let's drop it off. All that work made me thirsty. I should go to get... No! What do you mean? I thought I was gonna not get a drink until I leave from here. Hmm, I bet he won't mind if I take some juice. He's in the house, isn't he? Uh, Peter. Oh, that bathroom is closed. I never shut that bathroom. All of these doors are closed. Peter? The door is locked. Hold on. Oh, that package wasn't there before. Oh, Peter, is that for me? Hold on, Peter. I, I am a man of my word, actually. I have to finish putting your stuff away. Is that blood on the knife? The betrayal of a friend, part one. I never should have told my best friend about my wife. It was a moment of carelessness, a slip of the tongue. But what did it matter? He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me. He couldn't comprehend the power that I held. When he asked where she was, I casually replied that she was buried. He laughed it off, not realizing that I was dead serious. <laughs> but I knew I couldn't take any chances. I accused myself of going to the bathroom. 
bathroom, but instead I went to the kitchen and found a sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plunge it into his back. He let out a pathetic, uh, before crumpling to the floor. It felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. It was just another obstacle that I had to remove another person who didn't belong in my world. Alright, y'all, I should have brought a shotgun or something. Y'all, in this instance, this is where you, like, you know, call the police, say this man's a lunatic, get your ass over here now, because, uh, he's about to clap my cheeks, but, uh, it, oh, Peter, you shouldn't have. You left a package for me. Oh, it's for me, huh? Let's open it. Is this real? Oh, my God! Oh, that's definitely what I think it is. It was only a matter of time before someone realized that my wife and her sister were missing. My wife's other sister, the one I had spared, had grown suspicious and went to the police. I knew I had to act fast. I packed my bags and left town, but I knew it wasn't enough. The detectives would come looking for me, so asking questions that I couldn't answer, so I came up with a plan. I knew that I couldn't just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I was a victim. That I had vanished alongside my wife and her sister. It was a risky move, but I was confident that it would work. Oh God, oh God. I began by staging a break in our own home. I smashed a window and ransacked the place, making it look like someone had broken in and taken, it all, taken us all. I left a few items of clothing behind along with some other personal touches to make it seem more convincing. Then I disappeared, however, to ensure that no one gets close to me, I started learning how to spike drinks with drugs. Although I did not condone this behavior, it makes me feel powerful. Okay, here's the thing. Why in the world are you gonna write this all stuff in a journal? Give one specifically to me, write your, like, grand scheme in it and then kill me like the police is gonna show up and find these journals eventually they have to okay i think oh my god oh i'm in the back rooms aren't i what the heck i don't remember this uh-oh uh-oh oh god oh god oh god oh this isn't right i'm about to get clapped so hard by peter oh peter Come on, I thought I was never gonna be scared of a guy with the name Peter. Oh God. Oh, it's a it's a loop. It's a loop. I'm never gonna escape. A phone call from me? What the frick is this? This isn't even real life anymore. No, oh, is Peter gonna be behind that door? <laughs> I feel like Peter's behind this door. Oh, I forgot a box. Shit, the lights are out. I hope the phone battery didn't die. Come on. There, I can at least see where I'm heading now. Oh, it's all upside down. Oh, Peter. I just saw Peter. Uh, Peter. Oh, there's a gross smell coming from inside. I don't dare to open it. I don't dare you to open it either. What is going on? This is like psychological, bro. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I do not like it. Oh my God, what has this turned into? Peter's not a freaking man, he's a demon. Where's that phone call coming from? Oh God, uh-uh, 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 we're moving. Y'all, this time I'm never gonna work in a moving company ever again, okay? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Peter. A door? The cell phone? What is this? This isn't even real life! Hello? What do you want from me? Your job was to, to move the bam boxes, not to open... Hey, Peter. What are you gonna do, Peter? Give me your best shot! That's right, you're not gonna do anything about it. Cause you're a coward! Oh my god! Oh. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
fire game bro fire game dude this was actually so good for a short indie horror game i love the story behind this i love like peter's obsession into madness and how it just makes him feel like he's powerful i felt that real presence was really threatening and super creepy with him just lurking around the house and just messing with you and he was kind of stalking you the whole time and i definitely felt that this made me feel really creeped out super good the only thing i was a little confused about is how it started becoming more like a psychological thing is peter like a demon is he like a ghost why did everything start changing around me like i would have liked to get some sort of explanation on what was going on in that aspect but it didn't really bother me because this game was just so damn good bro so that was the video i hope you enjoyed it make sure you leave a like if you did hey hit that subscribe button as well if you enjoyed the video let me know what your favorite part of this is and thank you everybody so much for watching and i will see you in the next video.